Any Kentuckian who loves live music has probably seen one of their favorite artists at Rupp Arena or the KFC Yum Center. But in Ohio County, another venue is making a name for itself as a concert destination. Bringing in artists from Tyler Childers to ZZ Top to the Beach Boys, there's a little something for everyone at The Dam, located in Beaver Dam, Kentucky. But what is The Dam? Locals to the area will be happy to tell you. The Dam is a world-class venue set in a small little town. It was built in 2014. It'll seat about 5,000 people, which is kind of unique since the population of Beaver Dam is 3,600. We have uh, all kinds of shows, uh, Christian concerts, rock concerts, country. We have uh, a little bit of everything uh, to choose from. It is located in our city park, which is half a block from the downtown business district. When you walk around the corner and you see the lights, you know that you're at the dam. With an amphitheater big enough to hold the town's entire population and then some, Beaver Dam is a small town with a big dream, becoming one of the top destinations for music and entertainment in the state. And while it may be small, city leaders believe that Beaver Dam's location near towns like Owensboro and Bowling Green, but also major cities like Louisville and Nashville, make it perfectly positioned to make that dream a reality. But as Mayor Paul Sandifer says, getting the town to this point has been a long time coming. I grew up here, born and raised here, and we always kind of made our own activities and our own fun. But in this day and time, when you're trying to work economic development, you want to try to have a community that people want to live in. And we really didn't have that. There wasn't a whole lot a city our size can do as far as incentives for economic development. Myself and one of our city commissioners, Kevin Davis, were out this was back in 2010, 11, when the park was under construction. And it's like there was this hillside over here. It's like, what's something we could do? And we, you know, an amphitheater would be really cool right there. Now, granted, we were thinking more along the lines of a stage with a cover over the top of it, do some local shows there. But we had a gentleman here that was a member of our tourism commission. He's kind of like, Mayor, let's look a little bigger here. So we just jumped in and did it. And it's it's been a pretty good, pretty good thing for us. Beaver Dam's aim of becoming an entertainment hotspot involves more than just the amphitheater. In fact, city officials have partnered with local businesses to offer a variety of activities for tourists and locals alike all year round. Local favorites include Sounds on Second, a weekly free concert series downtown, the Strawberry Festival held on Memorial Day weekend, and seasonal events like the Christmas Festival and Oktoberfest. The goal of events like these is not only to make Beaver Dam a more fun place to live, but to grow the local economy through tourism. And small business owners in the area say they are seeing a difference. On concert days, it's the busiest that we are. In the restaurant business, it seems like summertime is your slower time. Well, here, that's not the case because we have the music on 2nd Street. We have the concerts at the amphitheater. I mean, we have people from Canada. There was somebody from Canada that ate in, a, in my restaurant to go see a concert in my hometown. And that's, that's pretty neat. I've been here about 46 years and owner for close to 20. The city has really kicked in. I mean, it's just amazing what all they've done in the last seven or eight years because you know, seven years ago, there wasn't hardly any building down here occupied. Now there's no building down here that's not filled. I and mean, then everybody's taking old buildings that were about to fall in and fixing them up. You can drive up the street on Friday nights and they have the sounds on second and, you know, streets blocked off and there's all kind of people down here listening to music. I never thought I'd see that. The dam has become a focal point and a beacon of hope for what was once a struggling town. Locals say that having such a bustling venue right in their backyard has generated a sense of hometown pride that Beaver Dam was once lacking. For the longest time, people always talked about there's really nothing to do in Beaver Dam. And I'll be honest with you, when they started building an amphitheater and having these concerts, I was like, nobody's going to show up. For the first time I came, I brought my kids and just the whole atmosphere of the community getting together, hanging out, talking. We don't have to go to other towns. We can come to our local town, spend the money here. We just love this town. This is where we live. We chose to raise our family here. And so it's awesome to have so much choice in your backyard and so many venues to go to, but still have the small town atmosphere that Beaver Dam is known for. 
You know, I think all of us feel a little part of the amphitheater. At first it was the city did it, and now it's, oh, that's our amphitheater. It's just amazing the interest that people have. Like he said, six years ago, there wasn't any place to shop on this little part of the block. Now people will come in and tell me they're from out of town and mill around in our little downtown, and we've really seen the difference. Hey everybody, I'm Chip Holston and I am cherishing this Kentucky life. And if you enjoyed that story and would like to see more, click right here to see more.